Linda's Prepper Kitchen. I'm excited today because today we are making salsa and we're using the tomatoes out of my garden. I'm so excited. I finally have enough that I can do something with them and that's what we're doing today. Today we're making authentic salsa. Um, so yeah, let me get you take you over here to the stove and show you what we're doing next. All right, as you can see, I got a pot of water coming up to a boil, getting that ready to go and nice and hot so that when I'm ready for it, I'll have it. I'm just gonna turn it down and let it almost like simmer while I take care of the tomatoes. Let's go over and take a look at the tomatoes. Okay, so um, this is what I have going on right now in the bowl. I have, of course, Roma in here, tomatoes, and I also have some tomatillo tomato. I'm really excited. This is the first year that I have grown tomatillos. Um, these make a beautis, beautiful salsa verde, or you can, um, I like to mix them um, with my romas, and it makes a wonderful salsa. The salsa that I'm making today is gonna be used for more like chips and dip. I mean, you know, chips and dip, dip your chips in the salsa. Um, there is, however, another recipe I'm hoping to share with you in the next few days or so, and that's um, if I get enough tomatoes off my garden, and it does look like I'm probably going to, um, that is more for like cooking, uh, making authentic Mexican foods and things like that. But today we are making a wonderful chips and dip salsa. So you're going to need tomatoes. Like I said, I'm using red and green. You're going to need garlic. You're going to need onions, hot peppers. Um, you pick what kind of hot peppers depending on what type of heat you want in your um, salsa. Um, as well as you're going to have sweet peppers. Just all the things. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm going to show you what we're doing with the tomatoes. So, um, the tomatoes on the tomatillos, basically, I'm just peeling them and putting them down into my bowl. The romas, of course, we want to um, core those. I'm going to show you how I do that. All right, let me move that out of the way. And it's just easy peasy. If you um, have any bad areas that you want to cut off, feel free to do that. Um, if you have a core, that's really good, too. You just stick your knife down in there, go around in a circle. Get your core out. Don't go too, too deep because you don't want to take the meat out of the tomato. So there you go. That's it. You just pull the core out. It's going to give me an issue since I'm showing you. See? There you go. Throw that in a scrap bowl for the chickens or for your um, soup base or, or if you're going to make broth or whatever. And that's it. So let me show you what I got over here. All right. And these are the tomatoes I ha I'm working with. Um, so let me go ahead and get these cored and then we'll move on to the next session. All right, my water's up to a boil, so now I'm going to take my Roma tomatoes and I'm just going to drop them down in there. And these are only going to be dunked in here for just a couple of minutes. We are now in the skinning process of making the salsa. And it takes anywhere between one to three minutes before the skin starts splitting and they're they're ready to come out of the water. I'll bring you back when they're ready. All right, as you can see down here that the skins are starting to split. It has been about two to three minutes. So now I'm gonna take them out. Go ahead and get these on out. See, it's just falling off. Get these out and I'll bring you over to the all right, I've got those out, and while I'm skinning these, I'm gonna put a batch in so that they can be getting prepared and ready to go to. It's a beautiful day here, very hot and humid, but it is beautiful outside. All right, that's enough. Let's go on over to the sink and let's peel these up. All right, so the hardest thing about these is that they're hot. But as you see, it just peels right off. That's just how easy it is. And as you know, I am saving my skins because these are going to become tomato powder. So let me get all these skinned up and we'll move on to the next step. All right, so this is what I got going on here. Please excuse the mess I'm creating. Um, but here's all my tomatoes. I got them all skinned and into a bowl. I'm going to sink the juice that's in the bottom here and I'm going to pour it into the pot as well. Here are my tomato skins. These will be going on the dehydrator for those um, powdered tomatoes I was telling you about. Alright, so let's get on to what we're going to do with these tomatoes. Alright, y'all. 
Here's the ingredients to make this summer salsa. If you want to pause it, you can. I'm going to put a picture up somewhere in this video of the ingredients. All right. Okay, what I have here, it is the KitchenAid chopper. I don't have a food processor, unfortunately. I really need to get one because um, it would have sure made this easier. Um, but we can do this in small batches. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take our tomatoes and we're going to chop them up in this chopper. And we need to get 10 cups of tomatoes. So I'm loading them down in, just kind of mixing and matching them to get a good blend of them. All right, let's get the lid on. Let me, let me back you up or get you adjusted here so that y'all can see a little bit better. I think that'll do it. All right, so I'm going to be using the pulse on here. I'm not just going to turn it on and parade up. because you, I don't want my parade. You might want yours. I'm just going to use the like this until I get it to the consistency that I want. But I'm going to spare you all the noise. I'm going to do all of my tomatoes that I have here and then we'll we'll bring you back. Okay, as you can see, I have my tomatoes in my pan. I have it over medium heat. I'm trying to bring it up to a boil. Get it all nice, hot, and bubbly. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our other ingredients to it. I'm going to go ahead and add a tablespoon of canning salt. Um, you can use pink Himalayan if you like. I just don't recommend using iodized salt. It turns your it turns it. Yeah, it's not good for canning. Um, so get that stirred in. We're gonna add in our eight cloves of garlic. Add that in there. Y'all having a chopper or food processor is is a lifesaver when you're making salsa. I'll tell you that. Y'all, that garlic smells. so so good so so good this is going to give me about six to seven pints i'll just have to see when it's all said and done all right now i've got my two and a half cups this is the mixture of it's 99 percent jalapeno but i did have about five serrano peppers that are going in here so i'm going to put those down in there as well as i have i believe it's five cups of the bell peppers these are right out of my garden nice and fresh so excited there's nothing like canning with stuff that's come out of your garden that you grew i wish it was all organic and from my garden but unfortunately it's not it's just the tomatoes the serranos and the bell peppers that came out of the garden give this a stir there we go and now I have five cups of onions. Let's get those down in there. It's gonna be so good, I'm so excited. Now this recipe is a approved recipe. So don't have to worry about that. And now I'm gonna put, I believe it's two, let me look at my recipe. It's um sorry about that one i'm going to put one and one fourth cups of lemon juice a lot of recipes call for um vinegar but you are allowed to substitute the vinegar for the lemon juice so that's what we're doing here today so now i'm going to put my cup and a quarter of lemon juice i'm just using the the bottle any lemon juice that you prefer is fine. There's one cup. And now for a quarter cup. 
foot. Well, put it in here so you can see. There we go. And a quarter cup. All right. So I'm going to get this mixed up. Bring this up to a boil. And then I'll bring you back. All right, guys. So I think I decided I wanted to add a tablespoon of cumin to mine. I, I don't want it overpowering, so I'm just doing a tablespoon, um, getting that mixed in. Um, I've already put it in there. Um, it wasn't recording like I thought it was. So I did add a tablespoon of cumin. That's up to you. You can omit it or you can put it. Now we're going to bring this up to a boil and boil it for 10 minutes, and then I'm going to bring you back. All right, my um, salsa is starting um, to boil, so I'm setting a 10-minute timer. Um, and when it's through boiling, I'll bring you back. Also, I want to let you know that I have my water bath canner over here getting hot and ready to go. I um, have also put a splash of vinegar in the water to keep the jar from clouding up. All right, here it is after it's been boiling for 10 minutes. I've got it off the stove and it's now on my counter. So now we're going to take our cilantro and we're just going to pour it in. That's one whole bunch of cilantro. We're just going to mix this in. Mmm, cilantro smells so good. Yes, I love the smell of cilantro. Get that all mixed in. All right, I hope you're fogging up over there, ain't you? All right, so now let's get on to the canning process. All right, so as you can see, I've got my jars. I've got seven jars out. Um, I've got my funnel. See it? I've got my jar lifter, my debubbler. I have a paper towel, as well as some vinegar, because that's what I'm going to use to wipe the rings with. And now let's start putting this in the jars. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna ladle the salsa. Let me get you turned around this way. That's a little bit better. Now we're just gonna ladle the salsa into the jars. You wanna make sure you leave a one inch head space at the top. And so. Actually, I put too much in that one. Let me get a spoon. Scoop a little bit of this out. The last thing I want is for one of my jars not to seal. I'm excited about this salsa, y'all. This is the first time I've made salsa. And it is from things from my garden, so it's really exciting for me. Okay, so now we have a one inch head space in there. Um, like I told you, I've got my... Um, water bath canner going over there this is going to be hot a hot pack it's to hot jars going in so you want to make sure that you have a hot canner all right so let me go ahead and we'll get the rims wiped on these and i'll get them put in and then i'll bring you back after we do that so just make sure you use vinegar wipe your rings really well you don't want nothing 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 that's going to get in the way of these jars sealing. Then we're just going to get our debubbler. I should have done that first. Make sure you always, always debubble. Okay, let's do this one. All right, I'm going to wipe these again. Put in all this hard work. The last thing you want is for it to not see. What's on my napkin? That could have prevented it from sealing. We caught it though. So now I'm gonna put my lid on. Fingertip tight, don't wanna wrench it on there. The air needs to escape out of the jar. Now I'm gonna go put these in the canner. All right, I'm just gonna set these on the rack. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna take care of the rest of them. And I'll put those in. All right, as you see, I got the canner full here. I'm gonna lower them down into the water. You see they are covered. I'm going to put my lid on and we're going to boil these for 20 minutes. I'll bring you back when they're done. All right, y'all, the 20 minutes is up. 
and I have gone ahead and pulled them up out of the water. Y'all, this is my second batch. This recipe said it made six pints, but I think they meant to say, I think it was a typo, and it should have said quarts. Um, so I have gotten a total of 14 jars. Let me get these out, and I'll show them to you. All right, here they are. There's 14 pints of authentic Mexican salsa. Yum. Y'all, these are going to be good on your uh, prepper pantry shelf for up to 18 months. Um, so go ahead, when your tomatoes come in, go ahead and get you some canned up and get it on the shelf. I hope y'all like this video. I hope you like this salsa. If you give it a try, please let me know how you like it. Y'all, keep on keeping on. I'll see you next time back at Linda's Prepper Kitchen. Bye, everyone.